tell us, we might as well get it over and done with. You had a shocker. Not not at the game, after the game. Oh, yeah, we'll come oh, to the man. game in a moment. Right, listen, we're not off here at 11 o'clock, right? And this is uh, Prime, isn't Prime, it? Prime, yeah. So, 2011, I'm, I'm up in the comms with, with Jim. And you've done, sorry, you've done Luton, Luton Arsenal. Arsenal. Great atmosphere. Oh, I'm having a bit of Luton. I don't mind about a Kenilworth Road, man. It's great. Their fans' atmosphere was tremendous. Anyway, 2011, boom, I go downstairs, I say, am I clear, Ali? I went, oh, you're beauty. <laughs> I've got away 20 minutes early. Beauty, you dancer. So I goes back, so my driver, and, and I normally get a train, I no, because I quite like it, I don't, I'm yeah. moving trains. Well, it's easy, for, for, to London Bridge. Yeah, but unfortunately at that time, I think there was only, I couldn't take the chance anyway, there was only one running or two running, full of Arsenal fans or travelling fans and I might not get on it all right. that kind of stuff jump in the car well before I jump in the car I phone him where are you I'm right. I said don't come near the stadium no his name was Mr Magoo <laughs> he was he was I said I, I, on no account came near the stadium I said I'll walk to you he said okay fine so I walked to him I've walked a good mile and a half what was he what for <laughs> I walked a good mile and a half right so I jumped in the car This time it was about 10 past Quarter past 11 So uh, You know you're Yes London br- Smashing Hotel Great No problem Oh I know where I'm going He says Anyway Two minutes later Right We're in the An industrial estate oh, no. Right Where everybody's parked To go to the game So Everybody's coming out The industrial estate He drives Into the industrial oh, estate away. Right So I'm on the phone To the Viva at this point he wasn't part of the Luton Celtic Supporters Club, was he? <laughs> it gets worse, mate. It gets worse. I, th- I think he knew you were going. Oh, I thought I should have cut him up. Being- oh, right, okay. So eventually he escapes. We're on the mo- motorway. And I'm like, there's a big tra- Surely not. There's a big queue of traffic. And I'm looking at the only big red X signs on Aye. the. Anyway, takes us off the motorway. We're on big queue to come off the mo- motorway's closed. Oh. So. It's just another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. We end up up and down streets, back on. So I get to the hotel. But this time it's one o'clock. London Bridge, which London is very Bridge, close to our studio. Very close to the studio. That's the bonus, right? So we and I, how do you go? Oh, bro, he's wanting to chat for five minutes. He's a Luton fan. Oh, we're unlucky. I agree. Oh, you're unlucky. Now, let me I'm out going, your tube. I'm going to bed. <laughs> so I get my head on my pillow. Right, I look. Can I not wait a wee clock next? To, uh, it was 0208. Oh, right, no. so zero two oh eight. I put my head in my pillow. Right, you ready for this? I wake up. Fire alarm. Zero two fifty four. Right, oh. and I'm thinking myself. You know what it's like. You go, oh, okay, it's a mistake. Aye. It's a someone's, test. Someone's had a few and sent right. it off. Gabby's not... Gabby's down there and he's he's <laughs> trying to put the light on, and hit the fire fire alarm. Exactly. Well, oh, I'm sitting praying to myself. Please just go off. Be a mistake. Well, it goes on, it goes on, and it goes on. And by this point, I can hear doors opening in my floor and people walking by. I thought, I'm going to have to get in here. So I don't need to tell you, right? 20 past three or what it was, I'm standing on the stairway, eh, the stairway. Guy, <laughs> there's a guy standing next to me and he's boxer shorts, a t-shirt, and he's got one sock on, right? He's got, <laughs> right? That's a girl next to him, right? She's got high heels and a dressing gown, her hair and curlers. And, you know, it was just an absolute shambles. I get back in my do, bed. Do you know, it's funny you should say that. So next door to the hotel is vacant and they're, they're actually going to, I think they bought it and they're going to extend the hotel. Was that the old pub? Correct. So I was in there the other day debriefing, right, with the debrief, just sitting down thinking about where I'm going next. Fire alarm went, and I went, what? You're joking. You're joking. So we were all evacuated, and they said, yeah, they think it's to do with the spray they're building next door. Keeps tripping or something, right. something's wrong because it's, it's vacant now. There's no one in there, and um, there's a problem. So, yeah, it happened to me, but not, not at that time in the morning. Oh, nightmare. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to have a week out for about half eight, quarter past I don't nine. mind, I don't mind. You've all right with that? Nah, I'll be good. Uh, <laughs> Arsenal, now talking about the oh, game. Oh, mate, what a what game. A, now, I went to bed at 3-3 three, three, because I was in Suffolk and I had oh. to leave. My alarm went just before three and I had to leave at sort of ten past three. Wow, what a game. What a game of football. And you'd need to have a heart of stone not to feel for Luton, right? I mean, Arsenal, brilliant. And, and you know... Teams that win things have to find out and grind out victories and all that kind of stuff. What a game of football! Oh no, 
Great really? atmosphere. Oh, brilliant I, atmosphere. I, 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 just, I, it was just a throwback. Yeah, I have you know? to be honest and hold my hands up here. I had a bet on Wolves. I thought Wolves' price was ridiculous. Good. And I backed Wolves. And so do you know I? what? They had no threat whatsoever first half. They got a goal, I think, just before half time off the top of my head. Uh-huh. And I thought, oh, <clears throat> but I was never comfortable at 1 0. Never comfortable. But they, they nicked the points. But um, Burnley had a lot of possession, but they had nothing up front, up front they, either. They, to be fair, the keeper, the Wolves keeper, made a double save, and it could, if they if that had gone in, I think Wolves would have got beat. It's funny that because I'm, I've for, for talk sport bet, I've done my accum- I did a, a week midweek accumulator, and I've taken Wolves Arsenal, mm. and I think it's Palace and Fulham or something. Like that. That right? Well, someone won ten grand off mine the other day. Is that, me, yeah, ten grand the bet builder. Ten grand they won. Well done. Happy Christmas. That is brilliant. So I missed the final goal and Arsenal nicked it at the death at Kenilworth Road. Uh, Declan, do you know what? The, the way he rose to the ball, oh. Ali. I thought he was going to nod it straight back to where it came from. You know that just bit, the goal is right hand post, but he so, just yeah. got a little glance on it. Uh, a great goal, wasn't it? I thought the ball in the the change of angle. I think was Zinchenko played it back to Odegaard to just to change the angle. And Odegaard, oh, it's brilliant. He, he, he kind of runs towards the ball and at the last yeah. minute just... First time. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful delivery. And Rice was great second half. Yeah. He was up and down, up and down. Always uh, available. And he's he brilliant how well. he keeps the ball. He play- Do you know who played well? I'll tell you who played well. Ross Bartley. Oh, I'm just about to say. Right, yeah. the goalkeeper for me, right? Don't get me started. Oh, I'm too late. Don't get me started with the Arsenal keeper. He's, by right? the way, he's got to do better at second. I'll, t- I'll, t- 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 I'll tell you for me... He's 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 got this wrong. I'm sure he's got it wrong. Hey, by the way, this is Mark in Glasgow. He says Arteta quickly becoming one of the most annoying managers in the Premier League. More than happy to glow at just beating Luton, but takes a little a huff, huff and puff when anything goes against him. Well, I, he must have been looking to say, Declan, you got me out of trouble here. By the way, don't worry about that. He did. Rea was at fault, definitely. For Tour Luton's goal, those question marks over the goalie situation at the club continue after the game. Talk Sports The Moose, Ian Abraham spoke to Mikel. Scoring late goals, I mean, that's the sign of teams that can go on and win championships. It is a team that wants to win every single game, and uh, let's see how far we go. Have you given it up at 3 3 with 96 minutes gone? No, because I have the feeling that the team was more so when they were wasting some time and then we got another chance and I see the boys going forward and being willing to be in the box. Anything can happen, but you need that luck as well. But that energy probably brings the luck forward. Funny, you're in a good mood, so I don't want to upset you, so don't take it the wrong way. But there are questions about the goalkeeper again tonight. The second goal, the goalkeeper wasn't great and the third one's gone straight through him. Yeah, I love my team. This is my answer. So I take it in the best way. Yeah. I saw the old moose last night at a cup of tea with a cup of tea with the moose. Did you? Ah, he was in great form with a wee blather. In fact, we're talking away, we're just talking about the old West Ham days. And they ended up um was Ray Stewart came up in the conversation. Oh, right. You know, remember yeah, Ray? Yeah, of course I do. Smashing penalties, both ah, getting Exactly. And the moose said, I speak to Ray now and again. So I don't need to tell you, he gave my f- I ended up having a chat with Ray Stewart for oh. about 10 minutes on the phone. It was great. I hadn't oh. spoke to Ray for donkeys. Yeah, no. And I had a right good blow Where did he come from? Dundee United. Dundee United. Ah, yeah. Dundee United. And I played with him. Played great... against him. Oh, of course you'd have played him in Scotland. Neil Orr played there as well. Neil Orr. Where did he start? Martin. Oh, you're on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.